really wanted to be not just survivors, but thrivers. And I think that's something we also feel about the creations we make. We don't want you to just have a plant that survives. We want you to have something that thrives. My name is Michelle and I am co-owner of Twig Terrariums. My name is Katie Maslow. I am co-owner of Twig Terrariums with my bestie, Michelle. In the beginning, it was very much therapeutic. Uh, Michelle, of course, was like, I have this perfect crue jar in my kitchen and I really want it to become a terrarium. And of course, my first question was, what's a terrarium? Katie and I were not business people originally. Our first studio was about 300 square feet and it was this tiny little converted garage space. And there ensued quite a few years of you know, trial and error and experimentation. I had to go with her on these antique road trips looking for glass everywhere we could possibly find glass and then go mossing, of course. There ensued quite the wonderful and addictive terrarium making part of my life. Before I knew it, we had terms in both of our apartments, and we didn't know quite what to do. So we started thinking of creating a company. Eventually, we were in Prospect Park, and Katie just picks up a twig, and she says, how about twig? And I said, yes, that's it. And we have that twig to this day in a jar. The first time we went out, we went to the Brooklyn Flea Market. It was so much fun, and the response was overwhelming. You know, we were both full-time students with full-time jobs, and I definitely had to learn quite a bit and the beauty of having a partnership is that often you complement each other. So where one is a little bit lacking, the other one has that talent. We had to learn a lot along the way and it was very difficult because we started the company without any capital. We did not have investors at first. We did everything based on our, what money we had coming in from our business when we first rented our first studio space. We each put in $1,200 of our own money. Sometimes we would sleep at our studio. It was a lot of work, and then we were trying to find people that would help us in our mission. Asking people questions about business, about assembly line processes, about how we can manage our time better, just to make sure that we were being the best that we could be. While we didn't get to quit our day jobs right away, eventually, when we finally were able to, we now can make terrariums full time. And we have so much fun doing this. So when we're making terrariums, they can have bucolic scenes from little sheep grazing amidst the moss or they can have little murder scenes. Or <laughs> it really does vary. We've made terms for Martin Scorsese and Bill Murray, and Stephen King has one of our terrariums. <laughs> Steven Spielberg has one of our terrariums. It's incredibly exciting. There's a really fine line between can I make this my livelihood or do I do something else to support this as my passion? When you can live your life doing something you love with someone you love, just the possibilities are endless.